Welcome back 640. Well, the time change coming up this weekend could make our roads more dangerous on Monday. Former one traffic anchor Lindsay Nance is working for you this morning explaining why. Hi, Lindsay. Hey there, Brittany. Yeah, that one hour of sleep that we lose this weekend really increases the risk for drowsy driving, and many drivers don't know that they have a problem until it's too late. Drowsy driving is blamed for 5,000 deadly crashes every year. What makes it so much more dangerous um, with drowsy driving and daylight savings is the fact that the body still has to sort of register the fact that it's not getting that extra hour of sleep that we lose. Between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., drowsy driving crashes spike, especially for one group of drivers. I would personally say, and this may come as a shock to you, I would honestly say that it would be teen drivers. Adults are more likely to pull over when they're tired but less experienced teens try to power through. The brain has to compensate. So it will go into what's called micro sleeps. And these micro sleeps is, I'm sure you may have experienced it where you kind of close your eyelids a little bit longer than you would normally close them. The warning signs of drowsy driving include yawning, rubbing your eyes and taking those long drawn out blinks. So we advise you to pull over safely if you're behind the wheel and just take a break. Um, you can take a, in, in a safe place, take a, even a 20 minute nap can help. And I know driving when you're tired is just absolutely miserable. Now listen up, several studies show that driving on less than six hours of sleep can really increase your risk of an accident. You can track exactly how much sleep you're getting by downloading our free sleep log. We've posted that for you on our News 4 app.